everyone, welcome back to another video. And today's video doesn't even need an introduction. Today, I am actually meeting Prince Marcus. He is actually royalty. Yes, to keep everything short and simple, today I'm actually heading to his house in Dubai. And he has an insane car collection. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Guys, oh my god, this, this is what you call a car collection, it is insane! Alright guys, so this is my first time ever meeting Prince Marcus, he is actually a real estate guru and his great grandfather was like the emperor of Europe, literally guys. Alright guys, I don't know if this is security that just came behind me, but oh my god, you see that? I don't even know what that car is over there, yo. Bro, I, this is my first time seeing this too. So this is a Celine, I think. That's what the name says on the car. But this is absurd. Like, I've never seen this car in my life. So I'm pretty sure it's very, very expensive. I mean, typically you have one Rolls Royce, but he's got two. Two Rolls. That's a lot, bro. All right, guys. So now that you've seen the cars, right now we're going to go meet Prince Marcus himself. So we're at his house. This is crazy. I'm honestly so excited because I love meeting new people, especially successful people because what comes around goes around. I don't I don't know what that means. I meant like if you're around, <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't even add up, bro. But he has another car too, by the way. Apparently this is, this looks like it's from a movie. It is from a movie. I don't watch movies, but it's a cool car. Outside his house, apart from like his six car garage, he has a seventh car, which is like a collectible. If you guys don't know this car, what are you doing? It's from the movies, guys. This car, to find it in this condition, it's impossible. All right, let's go, guys. Let's meet Prince Marcus. Let's do this. Guys, oh my god. So we're here outside his door. This door is massive. So his house is huge. And one more thing I want to show you before I knock and go inside. Check this out, guys. This is what you call royalty. Like, he has his own emblem outside his house and on all of his cars. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. We're about to meet Prince Marcus himself. Prince Welcome Marcus. to my house. Thank you Come so in. much. Wow, I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm <laughs> I can't actually. believe you're here. Guys, so this is Prince Marcus. This is who you've all been waiting to meet. I can't even talk right now. This is insane. And today, I just made it to his house. It's my first time meeting him. That's correct? That's correct. And he is... In person. In person. Yeah. He is a very big icon. Now, I'm going to let him show you his mansion. And today, is going to be a fun day. I hope so. Hi right, guys. Welcome to Prince Marcus's mansion. Let's go. my entrance hall. This is my motorcycle. I drove with that motorcycle all over Europe. Wow. But it's maybe not the right motorcycle for the Dubai streets and I don't like to have a sand in the engine all the time. By so the it's way. now just here in the house safe from the sand and just to... By the way, this is the first time I ever see a motorcycle in the middle of someone's living room. Like it's just there. And it's not like a normal motorcycle. This is beautiful. Very high. And it's not easy to drive, but I drove with the motorcycle all Europe. I was in Austria, in Switzerland, in Germany. I was everywhere with this motorcycle. It's not very comfortable, but it's just unique and a special motorcycle. And I love special things. Yo, this is actually so beautiful, guys. Like, I've never seen a chopper like this in like someone's living room. Welcome to the back garden. <laughs> this is like an entire river out here. I did. I didn't build the pool. It was like this before, but now I will change it. I will. Uh, I bought a little bit more land behind the wall here, and I will build a grotto here. What's a grotto? A grotto, like a cave. Oh. We we'll swim into the cave. Swim inside. There's a jacuzzi inside, like a real grotto. Like a like a cave in like the a water. Real cave, wow. Yeah. Hi right, guys. So we're inside the back garden right now. This place looks amazing like i'm gonna say that word a hundred times today but um basically he's actually bought all of the land around it just to make like underground water passages and like just everything like you know like when you have like childhood dreams you're like in the future this is the future and now i do it
Okay, now I'm gonna just show you how big this garden is because maybe if we stand still, you won't realize it. But look at this place, it's huge. So, wait, how big is this swimming pool? Uh, 34 meters. 34 meters, like guys, 34 meters long. Oh, so that's the jacuzzi. And then we have a massage bed. You could actually throw like full size parties in your own house. I'm sure you've done it. Yes, a lot of times. This is what they call the barbecue area, but I will change this also into a chill out lounge and I will take out the grass here and make a bar behind this post because now you have the chairs in the pool and you sit there and waiting for the waiter and there's no waiter because there's grass. So I think there has to be a bar who serves you even fresh drinks or juices or milkshakes or alcohol or whatever you want. Honestly, I'm kind of jealous seeing all of this because I want this house. It's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> and I know this is mine. Mike Tyson. A yeah, good friend of mine, Mikey. Yeah. Mikey. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen anybody call him Mikey. What do I say? Like, wow. Bill Clinton. Like, this is like a former president. Of the United States. Wow. How, how, like, how does this happen? Like, how did you suddenly, like... Uh, Bill Clinton, we did a lot of charity in America. For, oh, okay. uh, even with Elton John together for uh, against fighting AIDS. Okay. And we did a lot of charity for children. Uh, wow. he's, he's a very nice guy. I think everything just happens. It's like yes, yes, it's yes. very easy if you live in Hollywood and you it's so you know, so boom boom boom. <laughs> <laughs> guys okay so we have a little surprise coming right now oh and it's right there this is what you buy in a costume shop okay so this is like thor's hammer which i saw and i was like this is really cool but this is like plastic if you guys can hear it and then this wow this is like you guys this is the original thor hammer from uh, the actor and avengers yeah uh, Hemsworth. if i hit somebody with this that's gonna be a lot of damage like Okay, we're gonna put that back. <laughs> Thank you. That's amazing. This is the cape of Thor. Oh. I have the whole outfit. The whole original movie outfit. Wow. All right, so guys, this is the actual cape for Thor in the movie. And, oh, I should put it on. Let's do this. Okay. It goes like here, you have the uniform. I am the real life Thor right now. Like, wow. By the way, there's a second motorcycle. This is a Paul Smart Ducati. Wow, oh yeah. It's only one of 100. One never of, driven. I inherited it from my brother, so I will never touch it. I will never start it. So it stays here forever. And she is even signed by Postman. So this is a one of 100 Ducati. If you know Ducati, that's like the Bugatti of motorcycles. <laughs> like it's literally the best and it's just in his living room. Okay guys, so here's the thing. You guys have seen like most of the house right now. Yes. But the Wait, main thing. The cars? The cars. I'm a car collector, motorcycle collector, watch collector. I collect all boy toys. Yeah, and I love the watch, by the way, guys. Yeah. By the way, Richard Mill, you guys, if you don't already know. RM1103, full carbon. Let's go. Let's go. Now that's a loud, loud, loud ass car. Oh my God. Okay, your neighbors are gonna hate you. No, they love me. They take pictures. <laughs> this wow. is how you get out. So we have uh, your favorite car in the back. It's a pink Bentley, a Manzuri. It's not wrapped it's real color it's painted pink it was paris hilton's car before and now it's my daughter's car wow and even inside everything is pink so this car actually used to be paris hilton's car and now prince marcus gave it to his daughter so wow when she was five o'clock she uh, five five when she was five years old she said daddy i need a pink car because when mama drives me to school i need to go in a pink car i'm inside a pink bentley and the interior is pink. Like everything is pink on this car. Even the steering wheel is pink. I, mean, I never drive this car. No, you should drive it. I mean, you have to drive this car. This has really been converted into pink right now. Rolls Royce Ghost is also a Manzuri. Also not wrapped, it's also painted in matte white with a little pearl effect. But this is a car that I use with my driver. This is all white, white, white. I love white in the cars, white and black, black and white. This is my drop head, also white, 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 specially built for me. Ooh. Specially hand built by Rolls Royce, motor, cars, good wood for His Royal Highness Prince Marcus of Saxony Anna. You can actually see it's specially hand built for Prince Marcus. This right here, guys, was this like your first sports car? <laughs> no. 
I get it. <laughs> I'm a little bit older than you. Tony Stark has one. Prince Marcus has one. Tony Stark's is orange. Ours is white. Even better. <laughs> I don't know who saw the movie Gone in 60 Seconds with Angelina Jolie and Nicolas Cage. This is the original car from the movie. They had 19 cars in the movie. This is number 10. And so you see, when I open this, this is actually the car where they scratched the mirror. Oh! But we fixed it. And this is the engine. And here's the sign, the license for the Eleanor. Wow. Well, we, we have, of course, what shows this is one of the 19 cars from the movie. Guys, so they had 19 of these Mustangs in the movie, and this is number 10. Wow. What do we have here? Whoa. This is the Nitro. <laughs> you know, you have this Go Baby Go button, like in the movie. And this is the Nitro one pumps into the, in the engine and for 20 to 25 seconds Guys. you have a lot of boost. So as you can see in the back of the car, that's the nitrogen. This is what makes the car like fly pretty much. Wow. So the car is pretty powerful. That's the least I can say about it. This right here is a monster. You want to go for a ride? Should we go for a ride? Yeah, we should go for a ride. Alright guys, I'm gonna go for a ride in this monster right now. Let's do this. <laughs> guys, that's ridiculous what's happening right now. I am like, whoa! I need to do my seatbelt first. Guys, I don't know why I just feel scared in this car because I know what it can do and that just scares me. So that's why I'm a bit nervous right now, not saying much. It's just, it's a scary situation. You don't know yet. <laughs> Okay, so Prince Marcus is gonna go one more time with the car. I'm gonna be standing outside this time just to show you guys the mayhem. <laughs> I'm like so scared. Guys, this is not a good idea. Are you sure I should drive? Uh, you should try. Okay, let's go, let's go. I'm so scared. Okay guys, I just want to say, if you haven't already followed Prince Marcus, he's actually on Instagram, so you definitely need to go check him out. Go follow him right now if you guys want to see us do more crazy stuff like this, okay?